On today's episode of Elite, we've got some glam shots of General Grievous. What he looks like in the box? The Galaxy Adventures line has more product on the way. As well, the Vintage Collection is going to bring out some vehicles. All this and more coming up. Welcome to my television toy showcase channel today an exciting day we've got some images of general grievous oh yes now we first saw him when he turned up at uh i think they revealed him at new york comic con they had that little off-site sort of reveal in a hotel room Ta -da! here he is now we've got some nice glam shots there they are look at that he's in the box this one here one blaster four lightsabers fantastic um According to the reports, he is available in the US to pre-order on Wednesday. But having said that, in Australia, he's been available since the reveal as a pre-order on the little toy company. Goes for about $69.95, some crazy, crazy price. $64, sorry. $64.99, according to my cheat sheet here. Excellent. And he'll be available in April for all years to enjoy. Here's another shot of him. There he is without the box going to be much sought after general grievous are you excited for this figure most of us are it's going to be in the deluxe size box the other report is it was going to be not exclusive and he came with a target dcpi i think they're called the little number that goes with it apparently it's going to be an online exclusive that's going to be easy for us to get isn't it well let me know in the comments what you think of that moving on the Galaxy of Adventures. As you know, the first wave came out and they're in the little tube and they're just repacks of Force Link figures without the Force Link. And then the Wave 2 come out recently. It's got Han Solo. What's Wave 1? Hang on. Go back to Wave 1. Wave 1 has Vader, Luke, Chewie, and R2. Wave 2, Han Solo, Stormtrooper, Yoda, and Leia. So the info we're getting from yakface.com, he says that there is... Uh, scale change to start with. They're going to go from 3.75 up to 5 inches. And I was like, ugh, well it's going to put everything out of whack because your original two waves are the small scale and then you're going to go to a bigger scale. Why are they doing that? They might not do it. It might just be a rumor. I don't know. But apparently there's vehicles coming and some beasts. Now remember Galaxy Adventures is all set in the OT so going to get some stuff. Maybe the Wampa. Maybe a Tauntaun. Who knows? We'll wait and see. That's coming soon. That's just the little room we have for you. And now we move on to the Vintage Collection. The Vintage Collection. Let me see here. For those of you who have Wave 4 already in hand, congratulations. A few of you got it early from In Demand Toys in the UK. My fans over there, lucky ducks. For those of you who haven't seen them yet, here's some images. Yak Face, Bouchelaire, Klatao Skiffguard, and the Scarif Stormtrooper. And the report being from Yakface once again, God, he's like Reuters, this guy, he's fantastic. <laughs> Three vehicles coming to the Vintage line in 2019. They are two from the OT, original trilogy, and one from this episode nine, which you can speculate whatever it is because it'll be something different like we saw in The Last Jedi. There's ships and things we've never seen before. There's, there's, you know, there was a, a police speeder with this, looks like a stapler. <laughs> Amazing. Well, anyway, my rumor, this is from my opinion, I believe it will be an X-Wing and it will be an A-Wing that they do. The episode nine, say whatever you like for that. It's, it's a mystery, complete, complete mystery. They are going to be added to the two vehicles that are out already, which are the, the Imperial Combat Assault Hover Tank the Rogue One version, and the Imperial TIE Fighter with a pilot. So those two vehicles are out already. Going to have three more for 2019. Hooray! So vintage collection, not going anywhere. Some of you may already have the archive collection, but this image was up online from Kokomo Toys. And there you go. All the wonderful, wonderful figures up on the shelf. One of the comments from one of my subscribers, he'll probably know who he is, said... There is more archive figures in that store than there is in the entire country of Australia. We are still waiting for our 
archive collection. We're still waiting for our resistance stuff. We're still waiting for goddamn wave two and three of last year's vintage collection as well. Nothing new of late. And speaking of the archive collection, Raymond Z, one of my awesome subscribers, he found them in store here. There is the resistance figures up on the shelf. There is the single carded and the two packs all in the one. So I'm not sure if this is a Target or a Walmart. I thought it might be a Target with those uh, peg holes, but Target sometimes have the red behind them on the backing board. These are in Texas. Fantastic. For those of you who don't know what resistance is, it is an animated series on Disney XD channel. And right now I'm going to chuck up some images from that in the high res that just come out as well. As you can see, Kaz, Tora, Sonara, Commander Pyre, Von Reg, and the Stormtrooper. Now put that image of the six of them up there. And one of the funny comments I found for this image, this will make you laugh. The top row is all Fortnite skins. <laughs> the bottom row is all Star Wars. <laughs> Excellent, that's a good way to perceive it. Resistance stuff, they, they will be making uh, vehicles out of this as well at a later date. We're not sure yet. See, if the show continues on, yes, they're going to pump out more figures and more stuff. But yeah, there's a hint of vehicles on the way for those. And there's a lot of vehicles used in this show, so they can go anywhere with this one. Moving on to Lego now, Instagram user, Shoe Portraits. Hmm. Had this image. It is like the 20 years of Star Wars 1999 to 2019 coming soon. Fantastic. So in a recent video, we talked about StarWarsCollector.de had a listing of rumored sets. And I'll chuck that image up as well. If you remember, there's the, the spring 2019 rumors, the Jewel at Starkiller base, the action attack Battle of Endor, action attack Battle of Hoth. Von Reg's TIE Fighter Resistance one, Defend Action Battle Echo Base, Black Ace from Resistance, Slave One, and Anakin's Pod Racer. So they might be the sets that this is alluding to. An image does confirm that there is new sets coming. There's always going to be new sets coming. That little list is quite sweet. Excellent stuff. Oh, Hot Wheels released an image. This is via oh, StarWarsCollector.de as well. He put this image up. It is the Ray All-Terrain Vehicle. It's the character car. The interesting thing about this is brand spanking new stuff. And I said for 2019, everything on the card would go to black and white. But this is still red and white. And the image of Daisy Ridley is Jakku. Like, it's way back then. Very, you know, cool looking design. You know, if you want to collect those all-terrain vehicles, it's up to you. They are die cast. They are Hot Wheels. They are Star Wars. Excellent. Now it's time for finds. First finds today, Cat Obi Nader. I hope I said that right. Cat Obi Nader. Found at Maya. This is one of my subscribers here in Australia. Maya down at Southland in Melbourne. Found a ton of those Vader Legacy packs. I have one right here. There we go. Da -da -da -da. They were not cheap when they first came out, believe you me. But now they're going for $30. Check them out. Look at all those. What a find. Fantastic. Next up, Patch Noah. Patch Noah found the Archive series. Woo! Could not find the Luke. They must have picked him clean before he got to the pegs. Three of them found at Beaver Creek, Ohio. If you guys follow me in that area, check out your local stores for the vintage, oh, the Archive collection. The vintage collection. <laughs> Great stuff. And finally, I always butcher his name. Estar Gars Collector. Love this guy. Always sends me hot tips. Found the Galaxy of Adventures on clearance for $5. This is the Wave 1. One's in a little... I haven't even been to Australia yet. Haven't even seen them in store in this country. And they're already on clearance in the US. I believe he lives in the Florida area. I believe. Also, he found the two packs for $11. $11 only. What a bargain. Just before I go, there is new... Black Series figures coming, as we always get the rumors from Yak Face, and he put this up on his page, and people can write it within the forum. It is 12 ideas of three figures that are coming. Three, and I'm going to read. I'm going to put the list up on the screen. I'm just going to read the last three. The figures will read like this: One is Luke, one is a clone, one is a pilot. 
on that cryptic note we'll leave it there this is the picture of my merch as well as my new merch as well which I have designed usual Mike says hit subscribe tap the little bell slap a like on it so there's the shirt and designs that come with that you can get my leak shirts as well my usual Mike television shirts fantastic go down link in description down below thank you for watching today if you want to follow me I'm on Twitter at usual Mike 30 and on Instagram at usual Mike television and I haven't said it in a while but I'll say it now if you have some information for me send it through the social medias and I'll get it up here on one of my leaks videos and following on for my design shirt I'll say it right now usual Mike says hit subscribe tap the little bell slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time all the best